A new emergency vehicle like nothing seen before in Orange County will soon hit the streets. At 48,000 pounds, the armored vehicle is designed to help the SWAT unit during emergencies. KFDM's Justin Hinton takes you inside and explains how else it will be used in a story you'll see only right here. Chief Deputy Clint Hodgkinson is stepping into something new. As he prepares to test drive, Orange County's first armored vehicle. Ready. Free of charge from the Department of Defense and already stripped of the military equipment used overseas. We have not had to use it yet, uh, fortunately, and we hope we never have to. What remains? The elements put on by the sheriff's office, from the speaker in front to the decal in the back, plus a new paint job. All specifically designed for SWAT situations. The idea was is we needed something to protect our guys and the citizens when we had situations where we couldn't get up close, uh, where some people had been shot in the yard. It actually happened in Orange County, and uh, we were held at bay. And and you can't, you know, you can't get into a close area when you got live fire. It's an idea Orange County residents we spoke with supported for the most part. Well, if it's for that purpose only. I would uh, be tempted to say okay with that, but just not for day-to-day -day routine police work. Also, any maintenance charges will not come from taxpayer dollars. Hodgkinson says instead, the money will come from the department's drug forfeiture fund. That sounds great. I think they should have a SWAT vehicle. And why is that? Well, to take care of the, the people that are in trouble. And not just during standoffs. You can fit about eight people back here, and then you've got the driver and the passenger, making for a total of 10 people. That's also capable of going through about six feet of water, so during hurricanes, it can be very useful. Providing the sheriff's office with that much more reason to accept the free offer. Though deputies hope they never have to cash in. In Orange County, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Officers from surrounding departments in Vider, Orange, and West Orange make up the countywide SWAT unit. They, along with sheriff's deputies, are scheduled to train on the new vehicle in the next couple of weeks.